This is ridiculous. Okay, some random lawyer um, advocate on Twitter. She has like 200,000 followers. Okay, I get it. Um, she just bashed homeschooling parents and kids and everybody really apart and in favor of homeschooling. And I'm not having it. Okay, I'm not having it. I'm going to read you what the tweet said. There's a couple tweets and uh, I just think it's ridiculous. And I know a lot of you, some of you are homeschooled, but some of you, you're not as familiar with it. So I thought, hey, look, this is a great opportunity. Do some education. You know what I'm talking about. We can dispel some myths and lies about homeschooling because look, hey, we, we should be talking about uh, things in proper context with proper information. And uh, according to this, this lady, I don't know what connection she's had to homeschooling, but she wasn't homeschooled. She doesn't homeschool. How does she know what she's talking about? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, let me read you the tweet. It says right wing groups love to push homeschooling because it helps kids uh, help keep helps keep kids away from material that might challenge their conservative worldview. And it keeps women out of work and in the home. Okay. Number one, Number one, number one. Okay, number one. Um, when I, I was homeschooled from uh, kindergarten to uh, all the way to graduation, okay, and I was continually, <clears throat> continually um, shown arguments from the other side, the secular worldview. We learned about evolution, Marxism, communism, other religions. There's this idea that homeschooling is kind of centered around um, the, the concept of sheltering, like, hey, we're going to completely kind of, um, you know, keep out anything that is against what we believe. Um, so then you can kind of be indoctrinated. That's what some people think homeschooling is. Um, I got news for you. It's not that way. And I'm not just talking about for myself. I'm talking about a lot of other families and kids and all that that were homeschooling within my um, community in the city because I was very connected with other homeschooling families. This isn't an anomaly. This is actually the norm. It's true. It's actually the norm that we're learning about other sides of the argument. We're learning about critical thinking. That's actually why homeschooling is so effective and so beneficial for kids. Um, because we're not in homeschooling, we're not just spoon fed standardized information. It's this idea of critical thinking and f honestly, a lot of times digging to find answers to questions that you are, you want to have. Um, because for me, a lot of times, especially in high school, I was like, well, I, there'd be a topic that I'd be interested in. And it's like, well, what am I going to do? I guess I got to figure out how to learn that, find the resources necessary to learn that. It blows my mind that somebody that can have no, that has no real context to what homeschooling is can be so adamantly against it. Okay, so this lady's really demonstrating her extremely secular worldview in saying that homeschooling is used as kind of a tactic to keep women out of work and at the home. Like, as if the home is like a, a dungeon. This is what they're always like, oh my goodness, the home. Oh my goodness, with the kids? No, what the, no, I hate the kids. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, it blows my mind because when you look in the, in the Bible, it's like a completely different, like, um, the perspective of priorities, even for the father, like, dude, the children are like the number one, right? Like if you're, you're like, well, you know, children kind of, you know, we got to do our thing here. Like, you don't, don't mess with our vibe. It's like, that's kind of how the secular world sees children and, and parenting and that kind of thing. And it's looked down on as like, okay, well, as long as they don't get in the way of my goals and what I want to achieve, it's like, no, dude, like, don't you see how amazing that sacrifice is in somebody that 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 sacrifices maybe that they they're what they want to accomplish or do or whatever to raise their kids? Like, dude, that is amazing. And what I'm saying here is that you're gonna you're gonna figure out what that looks like for you, like whether you're homeschooler or not or whatever. But my 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 thing is is that why are we bashing something we have no idea about? Why are we bashing homeschooling when when we have no idea actually what it's like and what it's about? Like it's not about keeping women at home. It's actually glorious. It's glorious when you're put in a position where you have the opportunity to to spend time with your kids every day. Like how amazing is that? And train them. And of course it's hard. Of course it's not perfect. But but that that's not the point. It's about having the opportunity and the freedom to to do this and to help your kids learn and you know build them up in the knowledge of of the lord and and encounter different things that that maybe you don't agree with and maybe they come to you know try to wrestle through like that's their own journey part of the big issue with me and like the hypocrisy 
in this, this lady talking about homeschooling and all that, it's like so much of the secular worldview and like the government, and I know I'm getting into political stuff, but I don't do that often, but it's like, it's about indoctrination, right? They don't want to talk about Jesus. They don't want to talk about the Bible. They don't want to talk about the other sides of the arguments. They see that as hate speech. They see that as bigoted. They see that as all that kind of thing. And instead, they just prefer, you just, you know, pay attention to true education, you know, and, and the next thing here, here, this is, this is the next part here. It says, it's pretty transparent set of motivations, not good for women or children. You know what's not good for children? Only giving them one way to see the world. That's what that's what this whole like indoctrination makes sure they don't see um, the other sides to it. That's why we can't talk about Jesus. That's why we can't talk about the Bible because that's not that's not accepted. That's not good high quality education. We know what's best for you here. We know what's best. And the gall, the absolute gall of this lady to presume that the government knows what's better, uh, f like, than the parent does, like, how, how, how could you? How, how do you know that? Like, like, look, if you're, if you, you know, you're sending your kids to school somewhere or whatever, like, that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the freedom to be able to do what you think is best for your child, whether that's public school, whether that's private school, whether that's homeschool. But just the gall of somebody that says, you know, oh my goodness, like, we, we know your tactics, parents. We know you're trying to instill your beliefs in your kids. We can't let you do that. Like, what? That's what every parent does. Like, obviously, you, you're not going to be in this place. And, and this is, I think, maybe more the accusation. It's like, oh, well, you're only given this perspective. You're only given this. But that's not even true. That's not even the vast majority of homeschoolers. They open themselves up to, to hearing from other sides. They, they're actually some of the people that go in deep and learning other people's arguments and beliefs and all that. It just blows my mind the, 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 the ignorance of a comment like this. Okay, this is another tweet from her in the thread. Uh, this is a pet issue of mine and someday I'll write about uh, it in length. Oh, joy. Um, but the whole conversation about homeschooling would be very different if we believe children had the right to a high quality education or if we believe children had rights at all separate from their parents. What's the deal with children's rights? Children's rights. I have a feeling this is the same like she'd advocate for children to be, you know, able to do whatever, you know, they, they want. Like if they feel like they're a different gender, they can probably change. If they feel like they don't want to go to bed, oh, parents shouldn't make them. If they feel like their parents aren't very nice to them because they don't give them dessert, well, maybe they should get it to decide if they go to a different home. Like this is pretty dangerous stuff when you talk about child's rights because what are you actually giving the child the right to do? You're giving them to kind of overthrow the, the parent's authority with the power of the government. And I'm not even, I'm not talking about abuse situations. I'm talking about kids that are maybe homeschooled or they're being, you know, they're disciplined or whatever. And then they're like, well, I don't, I don't like this very much. Cause of course they don't like school. They don't like whatever. Like I was a kid, I know what it's like, but you want to give kids the power to kind of go with whatever they want man like it's 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 what happens when you disorder kind of the the, the places of authority in the home like all of a sudden the chi the child becomes king i get to decide my own destiny the child says and the, and the parents quiver in the corner don't get us government please we just want to live like guys this is what happens when you reject the biblical worldview of how the or the household is supposed to be ordered right um, man, there's so much to say about this, but honestly, look, just to be clear, I was homeschooled. I really loved it. And I realized some people didn't have great experiences with it. And if that's the case, I'm really sorry. And, and that's just the, the nature of homeschooling is that it really looks different in every household. It's kind of the beauty of it in a way, but it also cannot be so good for some people. And I realize that, right? And I'm not saying it's perfect, but at the very least, guys, we have to have the freedom in how we train our children. I don't have children, but I fully intend on homeschooling them if I'm given that opportunity, just because I believe that's what would be the best, right? And you can have a different opinion, that's fine. But I mean, if you're gonna make accusations against homeschooling, at least know what you're talking about. At least know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm going to study Greek. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, bye.